I would have to say a lot of it's ignorance, starting off. Like when you, you may say that statement, that it doesn't down to it, what are you talking about? You know, that's something that's not really being taught. Um, that's something that's not really being taught um, by parents today. Um, we talk about jobs, we talk about careers. Even seniors said the difference between those. You know, I have a job. Okay, I want a job. I want to make money. Well, there's a difference between a job and a career. Uh, that career is what you do, what you, where you see yourself, what you, where you're trying to go. And once you have that, like, like personally, I love kids. I've had jobs and car dealerships. That's not really what I wanted to do with myself. I want to coach, be a mentor. That's what I see myself as a, a career, what I want to do life long. Economic downturn, well, okay, it's hard to find money. You know, jobs are not going to be there. Uh, I'm not really going to find myself doing something that I really want to do. When you, so I, I guess I was talking to a guy a while back, I can't remember exactly who it was. And matter of fact, it was a minister. And he said something that made a lot of sense to him. He said, when you find something that you're willing to do for free, that's when you find that love. That's, so when I look at being around kids, when I look at culture and things like that, when people start talking about economics and money and what's going to be there, I want to do what I love. I want to do what's going to make a difference. I think about economic turn down really means. I do not think that they do understand what it really means because they haven't been educated to that point just yet. We think of uh, economic downturn in our small community here in Amy. There are a lot of things that our educators and school systems are not uh, getting over to our young ones about economic downturn. Uh, we say, for instance, uh, it's a minor setback for our youth in today's community. And the reason I say that is because if you don't understand what economic downturn is, how can you get out of economic downturn? How can you switch it around and turn it up? So therefore, I don't think that they understand it just yet, but that's why we're here tonight, to help you to understand what economic downturn is. But it's the youth of our communities, say for instance, those of us that are sitting here, the young ones that are out, that are listening to us now, you are the guys that can take and get your careers together what you want to do early in your lives. Not just jobs, as Christopher Gordon was saying, not just jobs, because a job is what helps you to get to the career that you want to get to in order that our economy can keep boosting itself. We find ourselves in uh, many situations to where we get a job, say for instance, at McDonald's or Burger King, something like that, and we say, hey, uh, this is a good job, it's a good start for me. I may be in college, I'm just graduating high school, I may be in high school, but don't let, that, let yourself stay in that position. If you know what you want to be, you know what you want your career to be in life, strive to do that, but it has to start at home. Parents have to spend time with their children. Children have to spend time with their parents. Let them know what is it that they want to do in this lifetime. What is it that they want to do uh, for their communities? What is it that they want to do for the rest of their lives that they don't mind doing? It's like Chris was saying, is that if there's something that you can do that you don't mind doing, you can do it for free. I take, for instance, what I've done. I uh, started volunteering at uh, the funeral home as a young boy. No pay, just volunteering. I was there early in the morning, even late in the evenings. But it was something that I wanted to do. I was able to go to the, my mentors, people that were in my community, that says, hey, we welcome me into their arms. My parents push me to go and see what it's all about. See what it is, because if you do that, then you can understand that economic downturn can then become an economic turn up. Wow, this panel here, says <laughs> all of my questions is like that. They're talking about having these discussions with their parents, or mentor. Oh, my parents, don't And you, of course. My peers, like my inner circle, we we know that you know jobs out here, you know, it's not that many, and so that's why, you know, when I when I thought about it, you know, I really look for like what is what is my talent, you know, what is gonna you know get money in my pocket, and when I thought about that, it was different talent that you know that I wanted, that what I was looking for, so. When I figure out that I like to, to draw, I, I put that as, you know, into perspective as 
I should come out with my, my own clothing line where I can, I can put art in clothing and also be selling it, but I'm, you know, I'm creating a business for myself. And, you know, my friends, if they don't have a job, you know, I can bring them along as models. You know, it's just different jobs that we, you know, nowadays we need to create for ourselves as black people because it's not that many out here for us. You know, I, I look at it like I don't want to work at McDonald's. I don't want to work at Burger King. You know, I don't want to, you know, be a contractor working, you know, hard. You know, it's, I mean, it's good pay, but you're working long, hard hours. So, I mean, with economic downturn, Nowadays, you know, people look at to as black males, you know, as, but I'm putting myself in shoes, you know, we we go to drugs and all other type you know, other type of things and you know, I mean, Are they discussing the economics and the economy with their parents? Or? I really don't know because I'm not in their household. You know, I am just looking at it as that because when I'm with them, I'm not around their parents. But as us as men, knowing that, you know, how our life is going. Where, where we at today, you know, we talk about that, you know, as a, as a group. But, you know, as far as with their parents. Or to find intangible per parish only by one reason, one way, if you do not want to find a job in tangible parish. Um, as youth, we think of the things that we want to do. We have dreams. Well, in order to accomplish a dream, you have to go out and achieve things the smaller things. You have to crawl before you walk, walk before you run. So you say, uh, I want to be an a, a, a engineer, but I'm not going to McDonald's and work. You can't be an engineer and manage your own company if you never worked as an employee in a smaller company. The thing is, is that we as youth, or our youth should, and uh, our educators, our business people, our entrepreneurs in our community in Tangible Parish, if they would stress that, hey, we have jobs available, come. Get a job. Let us teach you trades that you may like and that you may not like. Oh, what about volunteering? Volunteering. Whatever it may be. You take, for instance, uh, the new company that we have coming in town, Gable Building Supply. They have a sign outside that says, now hiring. But are our youths taking the incentive to get there and take advantage of it? Are you going to the website that's up there and put it in an application? Or are educators in the school stressing to them that they should do that? Jobs are hard to find only if you don't want to find them in Tangible Parish. Then again, jobs can be hard to come by. As I was saying, if our entrepreneurs and our business people, our business owners are not stressing them to the, to the children. If we continue to hold jobs for our family members, if we continue to hold jobs for our friends, if we continue to hold jobs for those that are close to us or people that we just want to hold them for, then of course those that are going to school are not going to come back into our area to find a job because it's as if it's seniority instead of uh, your education then. You know? So our business people in our area should stress that, hey, if this is what you want to do, come. Volunteer for me for a minute if you like. Oh, I can offer you a job. Come work for me two or three hours a day. Maybe this is what you want to do. But the thing about it is understanding that if you want to be a retail manager at a store, go to that store, for instance, state, you go there, speak with the retail man manager there. Ask him, can you come and walk around the store, help a few customers out? You know, things like that. And then, for instance, our lawyers, lawyer, there are many uh, lawyers in our area, right over here downtown Amy. Mm -hmm. You know, they can go over to the high schools, not just in Amy, in Hammond, you know, Kentwood, Greensboro, wherever, and speak with the children. Hey, you understand that some of you want to be lawyers. Mm -hmm. Come to my office on Saturday, you know, so we can, I can show you what I do to prepare for court. Just to give you an example that this may be what you would like to do. I would like to, the last question on the subject of jobs, Bernard,